Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. On a three-point saddle, we have a situation where the conduit is running along one elevation and then has to get above an obstacle like a pipe from another trade or one of our own conduits and then has to get back down to the same elevation. So we're going to learn how to make a three-point saddle right now. A common type of saddle bend is the three-point saddle. It's used primarily when you have to run your conduit over another conduit or a pipe from another trade. So we're going to use this fitting right here to represent the pipe from the other trade, and we're going to use this block to represent the fixed point. Now what we have to do first is measure our obstacle, and I know that this is three inches, you can't see it on the camera there, and we don't need to zoom in, but it's three inches, the depth. And next we have to measure where we start our pipe from to the center of this uh, conduit we have to saddle over. And in this case, we've made it 36 inches for this example. So we're going to take a piece of pipe now, and we're going to start out with this calculation. We're going to mark our pipe at 36 inches. Now, 3 inches is the depth that we need. This is actually two and three quarters of an inch thick, but we want to make our offset three inches because we don't want our pipe to touch this. So we're going to make three inches on our offset. Now the trick on a three-point saddle is that for every inch of depth, the pipe will shrink three sixteenths of an inch, and we have to compensate this. So three inches of depth times three sixteenths is nine sixteenths of an inch. So we have to add 9 sixteenths of an inch, and this becomes our center mark. Now we're moving away from the obstacle. Now think, think of it logically. Its pipe is going to shrink towards the obstacle we started with. Therefore, we must mark away from it so that when it shrinks towards it, it ends up at the actual center. So once again, we need 3 inches of depth, 3 sixteenths of an inch shrinkage for each inch of depth, so we move 9 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, now the next, next little trick we need to calculate. For every inch of depth, we have to make some other marks for some other bends. This is a 3 point saddle, it takes 3 bends. So we go 2 and a half inches away from the center for every inch of depth. So three inches times two and a half is seven and a half. So we mark out seven and a half inches away out here. And we're going to go here, seven and a half inches for our next mark. Okay, now it's time to bend this conduit. And we're going to use an air bend for this because that's, for me, I found that's the easiest way to do it. So, we're going to take our pipe. I'm going to work it from this way, actually, for this bend. It's going to be easier to show you. Okay, now here's, you can see right now, here, here are the marks on our pipe right here. Let's take a closer look at these and see how we want to place these in the bender. Okay, we can see this mark here. This is going to be our true center, okay? This is going to go in the saddle mark of the bender. And remember, the saddle mark is this little notch right here, okay? So we're going to take that mark right there and we're going to put it on the saddle of our bender. The first bend we're going to make now it's going to be a 45 degree angle. So again, the technique on an air bend, we're going to just put steady pressure. We're going to bend it down to 45. We're going to take a look and again, remember, when the bottom of the pipe is parallel to this line, that's when we have 45. 
if I'm going to turn it and take a look here, I need a touch more. Okay, I like that. Okay, now it's time to make our second bend. The second two bends are going to be identical. They're just made from different directions. So I'm going to slide this pipe up. I'm going to take the mark. And this mark has to go at the arrow. Now what we have to do is rotate the pipe up. Now you can see the arrow on the other side. There's another mark on the other side of the bender, and I can look at it from the top. I've got the arrow mark lined up there. Now I just want to make sure that as I'm looking down the pipe this way, I've got the pipe going straight. That's a, a key here, and that takes just a little practice and making a few of these bends to keep the pipe straight. Now, what I want to bend here is a 22 degree angle. So I know on my bender I've got a marking here for 22. I'm just going to bend it down, and again, the technique, the bottom of this pipe, I look at, is parallel to this line. So I take a look. I need just a touch more. Okay, I'll do a little bit more. Okay, I like that. Okay, so now the final bend is I simply just take the pipe out and I can just stand here. I've got my last mark and once again, that mark also goes on the arrow of the bender. Remember, it's identical to the first uh, bend that we made there. And both of these face to this bend when we make these on, on these marks on the outside are 22 degree bends face to the center. So I've got my mark lined up on the arrow once again. I'm going to just look down the pipe. Got it straight. I'm going to look for 22 degrees again. A little bit more. Okay, so that's the third bend. So now it's time to check and see how well we did with this. the end of the pipe against our obstacle, comes down over the conduit we needed to go over, and we can look and see that the center is over the center of the bend. And once again, this is the center that we adjusted for with the shrinkage. Notice our first line, how it's away from our actual center here. So that's why we had to calculate for shrinkage. So we have a nice smooth transition from a flat surface, then we go up over our, our pipe, and then we go back down on a flat surface again, and we go to our fixed point, which could have been another piece of conduit that ended there, and we had to measure to continue our bend. So that's a three points out. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.